finally, it is here. Directly from Japan. So, uh, we receive our packages. We have three types of noodles that we can cook. And at the same time, uh, I'll show you what are these uh, noodles. Color red is Kumamoto Tonkotsu Ramen. Color blue, Nagasaki Shoyu Ramen. And then color white is Hakata Tonkotsu Ramen. So, let's get started! Alright! Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Fisigit here. And Faitlin here. And it is Vlog Day. So yeah, what you are seeing right now is the packaging of what we are going to cook. It's Hakata Tonkatsu Ramen. Basically, what we know, it is creamy pork bone uh, type of soup. It's also well known for using raw garlic as its ingredient. And now we are trying to open it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like uh, three serve. Uh, I'm sorry, no. I think two serving per pack. But it really depends on the diet per person. Like for me, I can eat those two servings. So for me, I can, I can eat one one pack already. For me, I can save a bit more since I'm not that strong, a strong eater of noodles to be honest. So I will just use the single side and leave the rest out to another day. So that's me. So you're not a fan of ramen, so you're not going to eat this. What? <laughs> So, okay, um, uh, we are going to show you now the uh, what it looks like inside. What? <laughs> and at the same time, uh, you can see now the ingredients of Hakata Tonkotsu Ramen. We have now the, uh, what, I, I think it is like the gar garlic oil, what we called it. Yes, I believe it's the garlic oil. And that is the pasta, two pasta serving. And at the same time, um, don't worry guys, uh, it is good for you. Uh, for those people who can't handle spicy or not a fan of spiciness, <laughs> right? This is a creamy rich broth, right? I believe it's not spicy at all. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. It's not spicy, so that's the reason why it's perfect for those people who don't love. Or did I mention those who love yeah. spicy? <laughs> and this is the seasonings, the powder, where all the main ingredient came from. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it's... Uh, Hakata Pankotsu Ramen also includes raw garlic. So it should be included right there as well. You don't need to add it specifically. So yeah, that's good. Uh, actually, you can create your own. It really depends on how you cook it. But um, much better uh, if we are going to show you the base. Like the very basic cooking of this type of noodles. So that is our point of this uh, video. This is the, the garlic oil that we are showing. It is the hands of Faitlin. Actually, Faitlin will be the one who will cook. Oh, yes. I'm the one who is the cameraman. Woman. Mm. <laughs> it's March. Lady. Happy Women's Month to everyone. Later that same evening. Okay, so since the water is already boiling, you can put the ingredients one by one. Yes. Uh, how uh, see how it is boiling the boiling point and uh, Fiklin is currently putting the garlic oil now yes we cook uh, two packs of it because we are a lot of people here in the house so we decided to share it with everyone since it's been a while since we cook uh, Japanese food you know at home and at the same time, if you're going to ask how many liters of water or cups of water did I use, 
in this boiling pot? I don't know. <laughs> we never got to measure it, but you can try to measure it on your own to see how it works for you. Measure it with your hand. <laughs> and put it inside the boiling water? Asian so. way. What? <laughs> yeah, Asian way. <laughs> you, know, you know, like kind of Asian moms where... <laughs> yeah, you're going, just put your whole hand in the water to know how high the water is, like how many high liters or... Uh, yeah, and our, if it is already boiling, you know... <laughs> it wouldn't even phase them at all. But actually, it really depends. Uh, to be serious, on uh, serious note, you know, serious side. It really depends on your pot. How big is your pot? Pot. <laughs> I mean, like the pot itself, you know. So, uh, at the same time, if how many people as well who's going to eat... And at the same time, how many same time I'm going to use in this video? Every same time. <laughs> Every single time. Every time. <laughs> What's important though is you just have to maintain that balance. Because... As all things should be. <laughs> uh, disclaimer. <laughs> Any big brands that we are mentioning. We're not affiliated. 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 Oh look, or, look, it's already the noodles, so yeah, we've already. I'm not yet coming to disclaimer. <laughs> and at the same time, yes, again with the same time. Um, this products we bought it on our own money, so we are not sponsored. Okay, so we are not connected to the any big, big names connected to this product. And look how Caitlin. <laughs> Put his pasta <laughs> in the As boiling you can water. See, that's a perfect example of not putting pasta. <laughs> no! What? Even Gordon are screaming right now. No, I told you it's a perfect example of not putting the pasta <laughs> properly. <laughs> if Gordon would have watched this, he would have already watched this. Watch. Uh. He would have already <laughs> shouted at me. Like what? Raw. You, <laughs> you effing donkey. <laughs> Egypt sandwich. Well, uh, uh, well. Anyway, um, hi Gordon Ramsay. We're a big fan of yours. And yeah, and let's go to the seasoning. <laughs> Seasonings now. So it's just a simple. Addition of seasonings is all. No. So it's like, um, like what you were saying in like normal way to cook noodles. Yes. Nothing special to it. It really depends on your creativity. Just like what I mentioned in the, uh, uh, earlier, that it depends on your creativity. It depends on your imagination and your taste on your like on your preferable preferable preference. Open. Whatever. Or depends on your ingredients as well. If you have meat, you can simply add meat right there. Okay, so we're waiting for Fate to finish the powdering. The powdering. <laughs> and it has. I was surprised it has green onions in it. And then afterwards, you may see. Actually, it is already showing a little bit when the powder melted several bad puns later so after spongebob cue card <laughs> um Faitlin wants to add egg eggs so. why are you mad it's not an egg uh, one one egg and then later on you, you can say two eggs <laughs> are you mad um Gave a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like, just like what I mentioned, once the powder is melted, you may notice that the noodles became uh, creamy. Yes. Like, uh, richy, richy. Richie rich. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone will be rich. Uh, and one egg yolk is already. Uh, actually, it's. Uh, I prefer not to uh, break the egg yolk. I love. I love egg yolks. You know. I love eggs. Who doesn't love eggs? I really don't know. And, um, Do you want to eat your eggs? Yes. 
Wait, I, I look at that specimen, that egg over there. <laughs> I like it. What? Hey, eat. what are you trying to do? Let's eat. So yeah, uh, we uh, stir it occasionally, or more than the usual. It really depends because some people want the egg like broken, broken. <laughs> broken. Yeah, broken. Fragmented. Yeah. That Two thousand years later. Finally, we're done. As you may notice, the noodles became thick due to them absorbing the soup. Okay, so um, what you are seeing besides the actual noodles is the togarashi. It's a Japanese chili pepper and uh, it is spicy. So be careful uh, if you're going to put it a lot, but I think we can like a little, just a little kick of uh, spiciness. But uh, usually I put in uh, more than him because I can handle spiciness. And I'll show you guys what kind of togarashi we are using. I'll try to insert, insert now <laughs> the picture. Well, anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, the basic. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.